This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Happy New Year, everyone. It's 2018, and it's a brand new year for High School Whiz Quiz here on TV44. We have 16 teams that we're going to bring you, and we're going to introduce you to four of them tonight, some of the brightest and best students from around our region. We have St. Mary's taking on Elida in our first game, and a little bit later, you're going to see Bluffton and Delphus Jefferson. We want to introduce you to our players now. Joining us from St. Mary's, we have Jacqueline Lunds, Bailey Leininger, Joseph Fargo, and Luke Schlomer. St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Elida. Joining us is Ethan Bowersock, Josh Guess, Alex Treese, and Logan Oriens. Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome to all of you gentlemen. All right, here's our first round. We have 10 questions. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready. Let's have a good time, everybody, and make sure that you speak up as loudly as possible. And if you could make your answers as complete as possible as well. All right, here we go. Question number one for the new year. Which city is considered to be the home of country music? Yes, Elida. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee is correct. What does the P in CPR stand for? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Pressure. Pressure is incorrect, so we can turn it to Elida for a chance here. Yes. Procedure. Procedure also incorrect. Pulmonary is the answer to the question. All right, question number three. A pedicure deals with what part of the body? Yes, it would be St. Mary's? The feet. The feet is the answer. All right, question number four. How many cents are there in $200? Yes, St. Mary's? 20,000. 20,000 is the answer. All right, question number five. What male name refers to a doubting person? Yes, St. Mary's. Thomas. Thomas is the answer. All right, question six. What colonel founded Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yes, St. Mary's. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders is the answer. All right, number seven. What color belt designates beginning judo classes? Yes, St. Mary's. White. White is the answer. All right, you have three questions remaining in round one. What are large geometrical shapes and other patterns that appear in flattened areas of agricultural crops? St. Mary's. Crop circles. Crop circles is the answer. All right, number nine. What is the force of attraction between two bodies Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Gravity. Gravity is correct. And here's your final question in this first round. What is also known as an acute myocardial infarction? Yes, St. Mary's. A heart attack. Heart attack is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one, and here is our score now between St. Mary's and Elida. Elida, you have 10 points. St. Mary's with 80. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We're moving into round two of our game between St. Mary's and Elida. Here's our score. St. Mary's with 80 points, Elida with 10. That means St. Mary's, you're leading this next round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, question one. What Ivy League college is in Providence, Rhode Island? We 
we cannot take the answer. The buzzer sounded first. The answer there would have been Brown University. All right, number two, what breed is the cartoon dog Snoopy? Yes. A beagle. A beagle is correct. All right, number three, what is the common skin condition caused by inflammation of the skin's sebaceous gland? Yes, St. Mary's. Eczema. Eczema is incorrect. The answer there is acne. All right, number four, how many years are in a score? Yes. 20. 20 is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. On which continent is Zambia? Yes. Africa. Africa is correct. All right, moving over to Elida now for your five questions. Again, they're all yours, but still buzz in. In the Bible, who betrayed Samson by cutting off his hair? The answer is Delilah. All right, question two. The dingo is a free range dog found mainly in which country? Yes. Australia. Australia is correct. The River Seine flows through which European capital? The answer is Paris, France. All right, you have two questions remaining in this round. The law of gravity was inspired by what falling fruit? Yes. An apple. Apple is the answer. And here's your final question in this round. Is the book of Numbers in the Old or New Testament? Yes. New. New is incorrect, it is the old. All right, we're moving on now to our final round in this game between Elida and St. Mary's. Our score, Elida, you have 20 points. St. Mary's with 95. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Please speak up when you answer, okay? In 1815, where was Napoleon defeated? St. Mary's. Waterloo. Waterloo is the answer. What type of boat was a U-boat during World War II? St. Mary's. A submarine. Submarine is the answer there. Question number three. On what river does the city of Vienna, Austria stand? Yes, that would be Elida. The Danube. Danube is the answer. What four states of matter are observable in everyday life? St. Mary's. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. That's the answer, very good. All right, question number five. How many stripes are on the American flag? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. 13. 13 is correct. All right, question number six in your game. Which one of the seven wonders of the ancient world is still standing today? Yes, that would be Elida. The Great Pyramid of Giza. That is correct, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Question number seven in this final round. How many letters are in the Greek alphabet? Elida. 21. 21 is incorrect. We can, yes, St. Mary's? 23. 23 also incorrect. 24 is the answer. All right, we are down to our final three questions. How many people are in Da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper? Yes, St. Mary's. 13. 13 is correct. What was the name of the U.S. Research and Development Project to create nuclear weapons in, yes, that would be St. Mary's. The Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project is the answer. And here's your final question in this game. What document does the Statue of Liberty hold in her left hand? Elida. The Declaration of Independence. You are correct, the Declaration of Independence. All right, we've completed our game between St. Mary's and Elida. Here is the final score. Elida, you had 50 points.
St. Mary's, 155. So you'll be moving on in competition. Elida, we want to thank you for joining us. And St. Mary's, we'll be seeing you in the weeks to come. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching the first show of the 2018 winter season of High School Whiz Quiz. We just saw St. Mary's take on Elida. St. Mary's came up the winner there. Now we're going to see Delphus Jefferson face off against Bluffton, and we want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Bluffton, we have Derek Schwartzlander, Amelia Mitchell, Patrick Estelle, and Lewis Graham. And Bluffton is coached by John George. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Delphus Jefferson. Playing for them is Aaron Stant, Lexi Carpenter, Sarah Zoller, and Megan Rehm. Delphus Jefferson is coached by Joshua Vasquez and Marissa Schimmler. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have our first round 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Let's have fun with this. Make sure that you get those buzzers ready. Please speak up when you answer your questions. We've got a lot of people watching at home who are playing along with you. And then also, if you could be as complete as you can with the answers, that will help our judge, Mark Dickman. All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the process in which plants use light energy. Yes, that would be Bluffton. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is correct. Who wrote the novel Pride and Prejudice? Yes, Bluffton. Tolstoy. That is incorrect. So Delphus, you've got a chance here. Jane Austen. I'm sorry? Jane Austen. Jane Austen is the answer. All right, question number three. How many players are on a volleyball team? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Six. Six is the answer. Question number four. A chihuahua is a breed of dog believed to originate from what country? Yes, Bluffton. Mexico. Mexico is the answer. Name the Greek goddess of love and beauty. Yes, that would be Delphus. Aphrodite. Aphrodite is the answer there. All right, moving on now to question number six. In what city is the Alamo located? Yes, Delphus. San Antonio. San Antonio is correct. All right, moving on, number seven. What nationality was astronomer Galileo? Yes, Bluffton. Italian. Italian is correct. What museum in New York City was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright? Bluffton. The Museum of Natural History. That is incorrect. So, Delphus Jefferson, you've got a chance with this one, yes? The Museum of Modern Art. That is also incorrect. The Guggenheim is the answer there. All right, question number nine in your first round. What was the term for the official policy of racial segregation in South Africa? Yes, Bluffton. Apartheid. Apartheid is correct. And our final question in round one. One kilogram is equal to how many pounds? Yes, that would be Bluffton. Three pounds. Three pounds is incorrect. So Delphus Jefferson. 3.3 pounds. That is also incorrect. 2.2 pounds is the answer we're looking for. All right, we have a tie going into our second round. And because of a coin toss, Delphus Jefferson, you will be leading this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer, okay? All right, number one. If an animal is an invertebrate, which normal body part does it not have? Yes. Spine. That is correct, a spine. Question number two. Name the British nurse who founded Modern Nursing. 
Yes, Delphus. Clara Barton. Clara Barton is incorrect. It's Florence Nightingale. All right, number three. Who was the mayor of New York City during the September 11th attacks? Yes. Giuliani. Could you be complete with your answer? Randy Giuliani. That is incorrect. The answer that we're looking for is Rudy Giuliani. All right, number four. Name the four continental U.S. time zones. Yes. Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific. Very good. All right. Here's your final question in this round. Which part of Adam's body did God use to make Eve? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. The rib. Rib is the answer. All right, moving over to Bluffton now for your five questions. Again, please buzz in with your answers, but they are all yours. The United England's withdrawal from the European Union is commonly known as what? Yes. Brexit. Brexit is correct. Name the first American woman to win an Olympic gold for the individual all around in gymnastics. Time is up. The answer is Mary Lou Retton. All right, what is the hottest planet, or which is the hottest planet in the solar system? Yes. Venus. Venus. Venus is correct, and you have two questions remaining. Name Elvis Presley's Memphis mansion. Yes. Graceland. Graceland is correct, and here is your final question, Bluffton, in round two. What is the name of Atlanta's Major League Baseball team? Time is up. The answer is the Atlanta Braves. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here is our score, and it is still tied. Bluffton and Delphus Jefferson both with 55 points. It's an exciting game. We'll see you back here for round three right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Well, what a way to start the new season. We have a score, a tied score going into our third round between Delphus Jefferson and Bluffton, both with 55 points. We have our final round. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? All right, question one. Which musical includes the song, Climb Every Mountain? Yes, that would be Delphus Jefferson. The Sound of Music. Sound of Music is correct. What city was the first one to be mentioned on the moon? Yes, Bluffton. Houston. Houston is correct. All right, question number three. Oliver Twist was written by whom? Yes, Bluffton. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is correct. Which Christopher Columbus ship ran aground on his first voyage? Bluffton. The Pinta. That is incorrect. Delphus, you've got a chance. The Nina. Also incorrect. The Santa Maria is what we're looking for. All right. <laughs> Question five. A deer under one year old is called what? Yes, Bluffton. A fawn. Fawn is the answer. Jimi Hendrix was a legendary player of which Yes, Bluffton? The guitar. Guitar is correct. Are you a fan? Okay. <laughs> All right, four questions remaining in this round. Where is the Baseball Hall of Fame located? Yes, Delphus? Cleveland. Cleveland is incorrect. Bluffton, you have a chance with this one. Yes. New York. Be more specific with your answer, please. New York City, New York. <laughs> That is incorrect. It is Cooperstown, New York. All right, three questions remaining in this game. 
In what part of the body is the stirrup bone? Yes, Delphus. The ear. Ear is correct. Two questions remain. How long does it take the earth to spin once on its axis? Delphus? One day. One day is the answer. And you have a final question in this game. Name the French location of the World War II U.S. D-Day attack. Yes, Delphus? Normandy. Normandy is correct. All right, we've come to the end of the game so far, <laughs> and we have a tied score. Both teams, Bluffton and Delphus Jefferson, with 95 points, we are going to our sudden death, and we have Everybody ready here with this? First person to answer the question correctly is the winner. All right, here we go. Question number one. What is the largest mammal in the world? Delphus? The blue whale. The blue whale is the answer. All right, let's all exhale. We do have a winner now. And it was an excellent game between Bluffton and Delphus Jefferson. Here's our final score. Bluffton, 95 points. Delphus Jefferson, 105. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Bluffton, again, always great players. We want to thank you for joining us this season. And we want to thank you for joining us as well. See you back here next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>